Okay, today's lesson is about hypothesis testing. It's one of the most important lessons that we are going to um, discuss in the in this subject, statistics and probability. Um, for those of you who are not able to submit yet their activity number uh, four, as a sort of review, the now hypothesis uh, which states that there is no significant difference between the two parameters. And the symbol to that is HO. Uh, HO uses equal, if, if that is non-directional, um, greater than or equal, and then less than or equal for the directional, um, for the, for the, for the non-directional, equal lang ginagamit. For non-directional, uh, for the directional, sorry, greater than or equal and less than or equal. And then we also have the alternative hypothesis, which uses the symbol HA. So the counterpart of equal is not equal. The counterpart of greater than or equal is less than. And the counterpart of less than or equal is greater than. But not all the time, you magin counterpart niya. Okay. Um, in a real um, research that you are going to do, um, in testing hypothesis, we have to consider that um, in step one, you have to make sure that you state both the null and the alternative hypothesis. This is the null and this is the alternative hypothesis. And then you are going to design the study. In designing the study, the steps that you are going to consider is that you have to select the correct uh, statistical tests, whether to use Z-test or whether to use T-test. I hope um, you still remember when are you going to use T-test and when are we going to use T-test. We will use Z-test when the standard when the population standard deviation is given and the sample size is greater than or equal to 30. In the absence of the population standard deviation, we are going to use T-test. As a replacement um, of population standard deviation, we are going to use, instead of population standard deviation, it's the sample standard deviation. Okay, so you design the study, um, includes the correct statistical analysis, you have to choose the level of significance. In your case, you'll be using the 95% the confidence level. You formulate a plan um, to carry out your research. And then the plan should include um, the information, the information such as the definition of the population, the way the sample will be selected. Are you going to use purposive sampling technique, random sampling, stratified random sampling? cluster sampling or what sampling technique are you going to use okay and the method that will be used to collect the data the next is you are going to conduct the study you know mag, mag um mag distribute kind of questionnaire kung nasa online um tayo ngayon pwedeng through google form you siya gagawin and you collect the data Okay, for number four, after you collect the data, you evaluate the data. The data should be tabulated um, in the steps such as the statistical test should be conducted. Nag Likert scale ka ba siya, nag t-test ka ba, or nag z-test. And finally, you decide whether you reject this one or you accept HA. The one that we are going to test there is the null hypothesis. And the last part would be to summarize the result. Now, for the purpose of this lesson, um, we are going to limit the steps in testing hypothesis to five only. Okay, a simplified version kasi for just for this lesson um, of the hypothesis testing procedure will be used. Um, sorry. You omit natin yung designing the study and collecting the data. Yeah, lima lang yung aking the discuss na steps kasi hindi naman tayo pwede mag-collect ng data dito at saka mag-design ng study. So yung mga problem na ibibigay ko, given na yung data. The first one is to state the hypothesis. Ano yung null hypothesis niya at ano yung alternative hypothesis. Remember, ang alternate 
ang null hypothesis gumagamit siya ng equal, greater than or equal, less than or equal. Ang alternative hypothesis gumagamit siya ng not equal, greater than, and less than. Okay? That's the step one. You have to find the critical value. Kapag kayan ay critical value at yan ay 95% z-test, remember, ang kanyang critical value ay 1.96. Kapag yan ay 90%, Yan ay 1.90%. 1 1.64. 1 yan ay 99%, that's 2.58. Okay? Um, 95, 90, and 99 lang naman ang most commonly used uh, confidence level. For the Z-test, iba usapan siya. I hope meron kayong hawak na Z-test kasi wala akong hawak na Z-test. Sinagutan ko lang yung mga problem uh, kanina tapos inuha ko doon sa internet yung ating T-test table. Uh, but I was able to forward you your, your, the copy of the t-test. The next thing is the computation, compute the test value. In the computation, you have to decide whether to use t-test or whether to use z-test. Magkamali ka lang ng gamit, it will ruin your um, statistical analysis, it will ruin your decision making. Step four, you have to make a decision whether to reject HO or do not reject HO. Kung natatandaan natin doon sa last lesson na um, pas parang second to the last lesson natin kapag yung kritika kapag ang computed value is equal to the critical value the decision there is to reject H O kapag ang computed value is less than critical value, you have to do not reject H. Sana naaalala pa yan. Okay? Now, let us apply. And the last step, by the way, is to summarize the result. You'll just, you'll just, um, um, you are going to interpret your, your, your answer. Okay? So, let's have this one. A researcher reports that the the average salary of assistant professors is more than 42,000. Gumagamit siya ng salitang more than. Sino ang gumagamit ng salitang more than? H-O or H-A? Sino? Alternative or now? Asan dyan ang more than? Saan dito yung more than sa dalawa? H-O, h -O. H A. Yung more than, yung more than. Greater than yan, ang translation niya. Okay, so yun yung claim ng research. Ang researcher reports that the average salary of the assistant professors is more than 42,000. A sample of 30 assistant professors has a mean salary of 43,260. At 0.05, that's the claim that the assistant professors earning more than 42,000 pesos per year. The standard deviation of the population is 5,230. So our step one there is to uh, formulate the null and the alternative hypothesis. Then ang ginagamit niya ay more than, so the population mean there is greater than 42,000. Ito yung kiniklaim ng research. Dapat alam mo kung ano ang kiniklaim ng research. Malinaw naman siguro ang first sentence. A researcher reports that the average salary of assistant professors is more than 42,000. Yun ang kiniklaim. So ang counterpart ng more than, more than ngayon will be um, a sample of 30 assistant professors has a mean salary of 43,000. So ang maging HO natin dyan will be the population mean is equal to 42,000. Hindi mo siya pwedeng sabihin ng, ng greater than, ay less than equal. Okay? Equal ang kanyang counterpart. Ang step two is to find the critical value. Ang critical value natin dyan ay 95% confidence level kasi 0 0.05. Anong gagamitin dito? T-test or Z-test? T-test. Bakit T-test? Tingnan mo yung sample natin. 
greater than or equal to 30 siya. Tapos meron siyang population standard deviation. So gagamit tayo ng Z-test kasi may population standard deviation. So ang critical value natin dito, kung 95% yan ay 1.96. So step 3 is yung computation. So ang given natin dito ay, ang given natin ay population mean which is 42,000. Tapos, ang ating sample mean ay 43,260. May sample size ka ng 30 assistant professors. And the population standard deviation is 5,230. So, Z-test is sample mean minus population mean over the population standard deviation divided by the sample size. So, you just plug the given. So, we have there 43,260. Minus 42,000 divided by 5,230 over the square root of 30. Kung may calculate kayo, um, isolve nyo, pero nung sinol ko kanina, ang katumbas niyan ay 1.31. Bantayan mo tong dalawa, kasi yan ang gagamitin mo sa step number 4. Step number 4 is to decide whether to reject HO or do not reject HO. So since... Z computed of 1.31, mas maliit siya, di ba? Is less than Z critical of 1.96. Then, reject HO, do not reject HO. And decision. Halika natin to. Saan ako ito pupunta? Reject HO? Do not reject HO. Do not reject. Do not reject. Do not reject. Kasi less than. Then, do not reject HO. Ang step 5, um, you have to summarize your result. There's no template in um, formulating your uh, your uh, step number 5. Since it reject natin yung HO, tama ba ko? I-reject natin yung HO. Then, kung ni ay, reject ba? Hindi. I do not reject nga. Tama pala. <laughs> Sorry. Do not reject HO. So, ibig sabihin, ang tatanggapin natin ay, ano? Yung tatanggapin natin, HO, HA. Hindi kasi natin pwedeng sabihin na, um, Accept HO kasi ang sasabihin mo lang dyan, reject HO, do not reject HO. It follows kasi na kapag do not reject HO, tatanggapin mo si HO. Kaya lang kasi ang standard na ginagawa ng mga statistician, ang sasabihin mo lang, reject HO, do not reject HO. Huwag yung sasabihin sa researcher na accept HO ha. Reject HO, do not reject HO. So ang tinanggap natin ay si HO. Then, ang sasabihin mo dyan, then... There is no enough, or there is not enough evidence to accept the researcher's claim. Ang claim, kanina, ang claim kasi ng researcher ay ang alternative, pero ang tinanggap natin ay si HO. Meron bang ibang paraan? Paano ang step number five? Yes. Pwedeng sabihin mo dyan, the researcher's claim is unacceptable. Hence, the researcher's claim has insufficient evidence. The researcher's claim has insufficient evidence or there is insufficient evidence to accept the claim of the researcher. So, it's a free format for as long as ang sasabihin mo dyan, tinanggal mo ay inaccept mo si H. Question. Medyo mahaba lang siya. Pero paulit-ulit lang naman yan. Pero alam ko walang bago dyan eh. Kasi yung last na um, siguro yung step 1 lang kung talagang hindi natin masyadong binasa o pinanood yung video ng lesson na aking pinarawad last time. Question? No question? Okay, no 
question. Let's have this one. The Medical Rehabilitation Education Foundation reports that the average cost of rehabilitation per stroke victim is may issue. It's 24,672. To see if the average cost of rehabilitation is different at a particular hospital, a researcher selects a random sample of 35 stroke victims at the hospital and finds that the average cost of their rehabilitation is 25,226. The standard deviation of the population, standard deviation of the population is 3,251. At 0 0.01, given, at 0 0.01, can it be concluded that the average cost of stroke rehabilitation at a particular hospital is different from 24,672? So step number one is to formulate the null and the alternative hypothesis. Ano yung is sa mathematics? Equal po. Sino ang gumagamit ng equal? Si HO o si HA? HO po. Very good. So, ang claim natin ngayon ay ang HO na. The population mean is 24,672. So, yung HA natin will be not equal to 24,672. Okay? Ang step 2 ay critical um, value, critical point, or critical yung term natin dyan. Um, is it critical? So, critical point pala tama. So, 0 0.01 siya. Anong gagamitin dyan? T-test or Z-test? Z-test po. Z-test. That's correct, Chito. Z-test kasi meron tayong population standard deviation. So, we have now kung Z-test to, at ito ay 0 0.01, um, 99% siya. Ang 99%, so ang Z-critical ngayon ay equal kay 2.58. Galing yun sa naunang example ko ha. Ito, ito, ito. 2.58. Ito yung makritikal. 2.58. Okay? So, step number three, we have to compute for the Z-value. But before that, ilista natin ang given. The population mean is a 24,672. Sample mean I, um, sample mean natin, 25,226. The population standard deviation is 3,251. And the sample size is 35 stroke victims. So Z is equal to sample mean, population mean over, um, the population standard deviation over the sample size. So we have now 25,226 minus 24,672 over uh, 3,251 over the square root of 35. But in compute mo yan, ang lalabas na sagot ay 1.01. So step number four, ipayan mo to, so since Z computed of 1.01 1 .01 is less than Z critical of 2.58, reject HO, do not reject HO. Anong decision? Do reject ba si HO or do not reject HO? Do, do not, not reject. Okay, that's correct. Do not reject. Do not reject H O. Kalimutan natin sabihin yung claim. Ang claim na ngayon ay ang H O na, hindi na yung H A. So, step five, pwede mong sabihin the researcher's claim is acceptable. Pwede ganun. Question. Okay. 
Okay, the last one. Walang tanong. A medical investigation claims that the average number of infections of AIDS per week in Pasig City is 16.3. A random sample of 10 weeks. Meron siyang uh, ano to, population ng 16.3. A random sample of 10 weeks had a mean number of 17.7 infections. The sample, sample, hindi population. The sample standard deviation is 1.8. Is there enough evidence to reject the investigator's claim at 0 0.05? So step number one is to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. So yung ating magiging alternative dyan ay ang ginamit ng ay is. Ang gumagamit ng is, kapareha sa example number two ay CHO. So, U there is equal to 16.3. Yun yung claim ng research. Ang HA ay not equal kay 16.3. Counterpart niya kasi yun. Okay? Step number two is to find the critical value. Pero bago yan, anong test ang gagamitin? T-test or Z-test? T-test. Very good. T-test na siya kasi wala tayong population standard deviation. Ang meron sa problem... Um, sample. The sample standard deviation is 1.8. So, t-test ito, tapos 99%, oh, ako ba ako 99? Ah, no. 95 lang pala. T-test, tapos 95%, and then, n is equal to 10. Kung titingnan mo yan, doon sa t-test table, ang kanyang, ang kanyang t-critical ay equal kay 2.262. Tingnan nyo na lang ha, kasi sinerge ko lang yan doon sa kanina sa ano, sa ano pa lang nito, sa um, Google. Wala dito sa aking sinusulat. Ha? Nandito sa laptop. Hindi ko ma-share sa inyo ang t-test dito sa laptop. Okay? So step 3, computation. But before that, ilista mo yung given. Sample mean there is um, 7 16.7. The population mean is 16.3. The sample standard deviation is 1.8. And the population or the sample size is 10. So T test is equal to sample mean minus population mean over the population over the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample. So it's 17.7. Minus 16.3 over, ang S natin dyan ay 1.8, ang N natin ay square root of 10. Pag so, kinumpit mo yan, is 2.46. Okay, double check ha. So step number 4, since T computed of 2.46 is greater than, mas malaki siya dito, is greater than the critical of 2.262. Then, reject HO. Do not reject HO. Reject na po. That's correct. Very good. Reject HO. So, step number five, ang pwede mong sabihin yan, the reject HO, the researcher's claim is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Or you could say there is insufficient evidence to accept the claim of the researcher. Pwede mo rin sabi in negative way that there is not um, enough evidence to support the claim of the researcher. Ay importante na alam mo kung ano yung claim ng research. Ano ang sinasabi ng research? Kasi yan ang patutunayan mo kung tatanggapin ba yung claim o hindi. Question? Sir, medyo nagugulaan lang po ako. Paano po malaman if acceptable po yung claim ng researcher? 
um, sa step number four, ang four mo at saka one dapat mag-join. Dapat alam mo kung ano ang kiniklaim ng research. Para alam mo kung tatanggapin mo ba siya base doon sa step number four o hindi mo siya tatanggapin. Usually, yung claim ng research nilalagay yan sa first sentence. Again, a medical, a medical investigation claims that the average number of infections of AIDS per week in PASIC CT is 60.3. Yun yung kiniklaim niya. Dito naman, sa so number two, the Medical Rehabilitation Education Foundation reports that the average cost of rehabilitation of stroke victim is, yun naman yung kanyang claim. So number one, a researcher reports that the average salary of assistant professor is more than. So magdidepende ngayon kung ang claim ba niya ay HO o HA based dito. Kung anong sinasabi niya? Sinabi ba niya is lang? Sinabi ba niya greater than lang? Sinabi ba niya less than lang? Doon magdidepende. Para malaman mo kung ano yung kiniklaim ng research. Okay po. Tandaan mo lang yung simbol na ginagamit ni HO sa kanyang HA. Sa naunang slide ka nila. Pinakamadali lang para sa inyo, feeling ko step 5 kasi yums kayo. Marunong kayo mag-expound. Tinan mo, mathematics ako kaya direct to the point. The researcher's claim is unacceptable. Dahil yums kayo, alam ko sa step 5 kayo babawi. Okay, for the next example, you are going to answer this one. Um, to be submitted sa LMS. I only have two lessons left. Sana abuti natin yun. Yung hypothesis testing using yung um, the modern way, ito kasi yung traditional, pero widely used pa rin ito. Kahit sa research nyo, pwede itong gamitin. Yun namang tuturo ko sa using p-value. And then, correlation. Because some of the research na ginagamit nyo sa research to ay correlation. Okay. So that's number four, um, five, and number six, seven. Pa apat, apat ang kailangan. Kung umalis kasi, kung kunin ko yung attendance. 